another thing I'm excited for is, do you think we're going to get the announcement of another big fight during that, mm. that boxing event? Honestly, that would be, I want to say no, though I'm very optimistic. It will be very perfect optimistic. timing. It will allow people to, you know, because we got a big fight with Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, and for them to kind of announce that afterwards, and for the viewers that that that's watching, what we're referring to is, of course, arguably the biggest fight in boxing in this era at this point in time in 2023 or 2024. Errol Spence Jr. versus Terence Bud Crawford. I don't think they're gonna announce it but I'll be so happy if they do, you know? Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Do you think they're going to potentially announce it? I I, I, th I think they're going to announce Errol Spence, right? They're definitely going to announce the Errol Spence fight. I, I want it to be Bud Crawford so bad, but I think it's going to be Keith Thurman. <laughs> I, th I think it's going to be Keith one-time Thurman. Um, but I, I, I do think, you know, Errol Spence, one, of course, one of the premier fighters on PBC. And I, I think, you know, we have the date June 17th, but I think they haven't announced anything yet because not that it's going to stop people or deter them from seeing the tank fight, but we right. just need all focus on this tank fight. This is such a huge event. We need all focus. So we're not even going to give the fans this to clamor about. Um, the reason why I don't think it's going to be the Bud fight June 17th is, you know, just a lot of, Twitter activity that's been going on recently, which leads me to believe that they are working on it, but I just don't think it's done yet. Now, for for example, I did see Errol Spence get some criticism on, on Twitter um, about, you know, he only fights one time a year. He's not that active. And Errol Spence says, OK, so strip me because I'm only waiting for a dot, 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 which I have to assume is Terrence Crawford. I don't think he's waiting for dot, dot, dot. Yeah, right. The cryptic message obviously points to Terrence Crawford, right? So, right. And and when he's saying strip me, who do you think he's referring to? Do you think he's referring to the sanctioning bodies, or just he's just responding directly to the fan? I assume he's referring to the sanctioning bodies, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th I think he's referring to the sanctioning bodies. If my activity is a problem, then come strip me. But what I'm trying to do is get this fight, which is kind of like you know, it's kind of uh, mm -hmm. it's kind of weird for me because. You need the belts because we, we want to see an undisputed champion. So, no, don't strip him. You know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm, so it's weird because this whole Bud thing is about undisputed. So, no, don't strip me. But I, I do think it's a little bit of frustration there on, on, on Arrow's part. I, I, how are you deciphering that? Yeah, I, I would have to agree. I do think Arrow Spence is getting a bit aggravated, mm -hmm. especially during, you know, their last negotiation phase where things fell through. Obviously, Bud had other plans uh, out here looking like a double agent, you know, negotiating mm -hmm. behind other people's backs and 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 then decided to fight Abanesian on the black eye. Yeah, okay, bro. He, yeah, he's bad for business, but that's just my personal opinion. Regardless, though, I do think that Errol Spence is definitely getting a bit antsy and he really wants that fight. I don't think that both fighters are actually scared of each other. But I do think that Terrence Crawford's approach in this whole matter is he's looking to kind of get as much money as possible in this situation. And I think he's OK with prolonging the fight, whereas Errol Spence wants to fight now. And because he has the three belts, IBF, WBA and WBC, and he wants to kind of just get that fight up and started. He wants no tune ups, whereas Terrence Crawford has said time and time again that, you know, he doesn't need the Errol Spence fight. So I think before he goes into that fight, he knows the risk and he wants to kind of get capitalized on as much money as possible. So yeah, I do agree. I do think Errol Spence is definitely getting aggravated and he doesn't care at this point. Yeah, not that I don't think that Errol can beat these guys, but they're, you know, having three belts comes with three mandatories, right? And they're not easy fights, right? WBC, right. Keith Thurman, IBF, Jerome Boots Ennis, um, the WB, um, WBA, sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, Imantis Stanionis, you know what I'm right. saying? So just having all those belts come with more mandatories, more dates, more deadlines that you have to meet. So I do think he's just trying to get this fight on and just kind of what you allude to. I don't think they're scared of each other in the sense of, oh, what may happen if I if I fight this person necessarily? Um, but I just th think it's been a lot of outside things other than boxing holding this up. Um, 
if you were to ask me who I blame, I would have to lean towards Terrence Crawford, right? Because you right. came out, you said, I've agreed to everything. What are they going to say now? And that actually wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? So if you fooled me once, I'm not going to allow you to fool me again. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? So I, I, I think Terrence has to really step up to the plate and make this fight happen in terms of saying, listen, this is what I want. If I don't get this, then nothing. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be on and off again negotiations or on and off again negotiation. And for Errol as well, I think it's time to, you know, just stand up and say, listen, let's do it or 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 move on. I I, I know that that's easier said than done because you're yeah. like, I'm so close. I just need this one belt. So I do want to move on, but I just want to get this and accomplish this undisputed goal, you know, that I had, right? Um, right, right, you know, right. I know it's a tough situation, but and I also got to always keep it 100 and I got to be consistent. Just like I said, Keyshawn Davis, say Frank Martin's name. Errol, don't give me a dot, dot, dot. Tell me what's the fight that you're waiting on. <laughs> Tell me what's the fight that you're waiting okay, on. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, that's really that. You know, I was kind of shocked, though, that he came out and said strip me. But like I, like I said, I think it's a bit of frustration there going on. Yeah, yeah. At this point, he's like, at the end of the day, this is the fight I want. And, you're gonna, and it's crazy because I think he's daring them. And I don't think the sanctioning bodies got the galls to really strip him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Match count, right? Why would you strip him? You right, right, I mean? right. So they're going to accommodate him as much as possible. Uh, I, I would probably say the WBA and the WBC is less likely to strip him compared to probably like the IBF. They usually kind of operate independently compared to mm -hmm. their world title belts or sanctioning bodies. But who knows? Um, and, 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 and and it's always something, right? Especially in Terrence Crawford's side, whether it's him or his team. So, so this this kind of segues into, you know, the people that are around Terrence Crawford, right? Maybe maybe they're you know, gaslighting him because they're trying to gaslight the viewers. They try to gaslight everyone in the scene to convince others that Errol Spence is the problem, right? right. Speaking of which, his sister recently kind of you know, went underneath Ugas's page on Twitter. Right, right. And had some words for him under his post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'll pull that up here. But what were your thoughts? Because I know, you know what tweet I'm referring to. Right, 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 right. So, so Ugas, right? This is, this is about a year. I think it's been about a year removed since the Errol Spence fight where Ugas took, took a lot of damage, right? But, right. But he, he came to fight. He took a lot of damage. I think the, the broken orbital. Um, there's allegedly some rumors about the nose, the ribs. I don't know. I've only ever heard the orbital confirmed, right? But, you know, it was long, long layoff. He's going to come back and he's going to fight Barrios is what I hear, right? So he's about to, he's going to be in action soon. But it's just like, you know, so whatever. He's having a moment with his fans. He's reminiscing. And then Letitia Crawford comments, you know, you stood there like a punching bag, right? So you, you can always say something, but until Bud gets in the ring and we see if Bud looks like a punching bag or not, I don't think you have any right to say that and criticize that man who's, you know, this is, this is a real pro boxer. It's not even a low level boxer. You know what I'm saying? He's been in some real big fights. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think how, how dare you come out and even criticize that man like that when you don't do this, you know what I'm saying? You don't do this. Right, right. Um, I, I'll probably just to play devil's advocate, I'll probably say she was in within her right to make the comment that she made, right? I think for context, you know, he kind of post he made that post to kind of show his fans in the world who are in tune with the boxing scene that you can still be a champion, win, lose, or draw, right? And and she was like basically expressed her opinion like you was a punching bag. Focus. She wasn't necessarily wrong, right? Mm -hmm. At some part of the fight, he was a punching bag. They had to stop the fight. Otherwise, he'd have been sent to the gulag. Seriously, yeah. like he'd been done. He'd been cooked. So so, so, so she's not entirely wrong, but I do understand that it's, that it's a bit insensitive. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And one thing I 100% agree with you on is, would she have the same energy Right. If Terrence Crawford fights Errol Spence and it comes to a situation where he and Terrence Crawford becomes a punching bag. Right. Right. Someone comments underneath her pick. I mean, underneath her tweet, someone notable. How would she respond? Right. 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 People like that tend to dish it, but they can't take it. 
Agreed. You know what I mean? So, and, I, and I'll probably, I'll bet my life savings that she probably, she probably won't respond in a gracious way. She'll probably take it to heart. Right, 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 right. But 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 here's the thing. Here's why it's so disrespectful, and I really don't condone it because okay. saying he 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 was just a punching bag, right? It's not like he just came there to get get a check, try to cash out. U Ugas came to fight. I I think we all well, I think most of us knew going into that fight that Errol Spence was the better fighter, and I think it was proven. But in Errol Spence's last few fights that you can remember, who hasn't really been a punching bag? Maybe Sean Porter, right? Yeah, I'm about to say Sean Porter. Maybe, maybe Sean Porter, but outside of that, who at some who at some point in the fight hasn't turned into a punching bag? Whether it happened earlier in the fight or later in the fight, he could just be that good. Yeah, yeah, I think Errol Spence style. He breaks his opponents down. Mm. At, he's a technician, especially as a body puncher. He's a technician. Where in the later rounds, his opponents just don't have the energy and the willpower to to fight back. They can't yeah. bend off against his onslaught. You know what I mean? Right. No matter how good of a box you are, you're still human. You get mm -hmm. what I mean? So we, we'll just have to see. Yeah. One thing I do know is I, I might have to be a troll in this one. And and if Terrence Cough ends up becoming a punch back, I might have to go take yeah. my ass to Twitter and be like. Yo, you know, a common yeah. I wouldn't do that, but you know, that is just it is what it is. So yeah. And yeah. Let, let me ask you something about this fight. It's something that we spoke about in our last segment when it came to like when Errol Spence has said strip me, right? right? Let's say him and Bud has the fight and it's not for undisputed. Do you respect that or does it lose some 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 of the umph for you if it's not for undisputed? But like say that say they strip him, right, for inactivity, but he's like, I don't care. I just want to fight Terrence Crawford, I just want to beat Terrence Crawford. How would you feel about that situation right there? Uh, I, I, I would ask. I mean, so so based off of the scenario you've given, I want to stay within the framework of what you've provided me. Yeah. I would be a, a bit disappointed just for me as a fan. Mm -hmm. But I do think it does take away a bit of umph, right? Because yeah. the stage is set, all the belts on the line, right? The world titles are on the line. And that's that increases the magnitude of this fight. Yeah. Now, if they don't fight for the belts, yeah, of course, it can still be a big fight. Look at Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, right? But I, I think it does lose its um its value to a degree, if I'm being honest. I do think so. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What about you? I, I, I agree. I think this fight has to be for Undisputed. I'm not saying I wouldn't be interested in it or it wouldn't be a great fight regardless, but th this has been building up for what six years now. Yeah, just about six years now since that video where they actually came face to face. Thanks, yeah, I remember Errol told Buzz Boy, man, tell your boy stop talking. Why he keep talking to Terrence like he's talking to me? Like, tell your boy stop talking. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee I'm crushing you. Grab that. All right, let me ask you a question. Grab that. Don't try to go to the body. Don't try to go to the body. Don't try that, Lord. Don't try that. Don't try that. Hey, look, look, look. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Do that, Lord. You talking too much, man. You talking too much, bro. You talking too much, bro. You talking too much, bro. Ain't nobody talking from the side. But you talking to me. Ain't nobody talking from the side. Why you talking? Well, talk to me. It don't matter. Talk to him. Talk to me. Talk to me. Don't talk to him. Talk to me. Tell your nigga to be quiet. Talk to me. Tell your nigga to be quiet. All right, now you talking to me. Tell your nigga to be quiet. To what we was talking about. Whatever. Try that body it shot. Shit. I'm not, I'm gonna stop you. Easy. <laughs> gonna stop you. Easy. That shit gonna be easy work. I promise you. That his his entourage is always running there. Always. always. They yeah. you swear they they about to fight. Like you know, yeah, and it's yeah. funny in that video too, because you know we're our background, we from the hood. So you so you know the energy yeah. there, you you could kind of tell like Terrence Crawford was just trying to direct it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound like Errol Spence is getting too serious. Right, 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 right. They wanted to kind of like blow over. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that that would have been that would have been ugly. You know what I'm saying? Because as boxers, you know what I'm saying. You don't need to get into an outside the ring fight. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it in the ring, make your money. You don't need, you know what I'm saying? No lawsuits, litigations, any of that kind of stuff. 100. percent But um, but to just like come full circle, I want to see this fight. For, I want to see this fight. Period. But I want to see it for undisputed. Um. I just think it's the undisputed factor has been on the table for way too long for me to get the fight not for undisputed. Right. 